I am cutting my hair. everyone welcome back to my channel hi happy Wednesday it's hump day well it's probably not hump day for you but it is today um, I'm up bright and early I originally was supposed to be at Kim's I was gonna watch the boys today but um, it ended up not working out and then Kim didn't have to leave so I didn't have to watch the boys however Kim is not feeling that well so I'm gonna bring her her favorite soup I don't know if she's really in the mood to eat, but I'm sure somewhere in the day she's going to have to eat. Um, so I'm going to pick that up right now. <laughs> oh my fucking God! Uh, there's something in there! Is it a bug? No! She's alive! <laughs> that cackle! Oh man! Oh, sorry. Five dollars for it's a picture. Fine. It's fine. Where's Casper? Where's Casper? Capel! Oh, why is Capel, it? Roger, George, Cornelius, Capel! What are you waiting for? Cornelius! Come here, Cornelius! Anyway, she's alive. But you're still. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid it's like hot. your finger in your ear. It's hot? Well, stop irritating it. Oh my god, I would do anything to put like a stick in there right now. God, go to an ear doctor. In Vietnam, they have these people and they'll like dig it for you. Except they don't have insurance, so if you go deaf. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Anyway, she's alive, everybody. She she dress trespassed. <laughs> dress fast. You guys came unannounced. That's her way of saying it. She loves me. If you I'm go gonna to Ladies LA without me. I know where you live. Why are you sitting like that? I'm gonna go without you. No. You need to hurry up. You need to know it existed. <laughs> Don't go without me. Kim said this is a traditional. And I want to say traditional. Oh, okay. Not traditional? <laughs> no, it's just like some, uh, like a street food. Okay. I wouldn't say it's, I guess it got popular, like a sh popular street food in Vietnam. Okay. Should we cut them in half? No, just bite into it. Just bite into it? She's missing so many things. Like what? The onion? forgot to talk about our sponge. It's just a really cute sponge. It does look like a mayo, but it's also like a sponge. Mmm. Look, they're good though. Yeah? Wait, I like it. Don't lie. No. You're lying, sister. No, I'm not. You know me. Wait, no, that's good. It's missing something. I just did it wrong. Forgot the recipe. What is it missing? It's missing like mayo. Mayo? Also, it's supposed to be like a little crunchier. It's so much easier. What? My tri my new tripod. I know. I should really invest. <laughs> Where'd you get yours? Target. Where did my bike go? Oh, right here? That? I that believe looks like so. Your bike. Oh, shoot. I think this is my bike because I took a few bites. Mmm. Oh, good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. We have an update. Um, we dipped it in mayo and it's really, 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 really good. I just have to figure out why mine is not crispy, you guys. But the edges are super crispy. So I didn't I didn't get to make my girl the best version. But it tastes so good. Really good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Quick snack. That'll be $10. Aren't you supposed to like tell me before you start making? Aren't you supposed to ask before you eat the food? Shit. <laughs> we're gonna go eat dinner. I don't know what we're gonna eat, but we're gonna go eat dinner. I think the option is Chipotle or Panda Express. Something quick, you know? Quick, quick. I'm thinking, I actually don't know. I saw a video of Chipotle and it looks really good. But Panda Express also sounds really good. 
I don't know. What? Yes, I'm re-watching Jane the Virgin. Sorry that there is so much construction noises outside. Um, but hello, hi. Um, I'm doing something very exciting today and you guys probably already know by the title of the video. So I'm just gonna outwardly say it. I am cutting my hair. Um, I've been debating about it for a very long time. You guys know if you've been following me on Instagram or even here I feel like I've said it a lot or multiple times about how I want to cut my hair I have not purposely cut my hair short like by like my boob area or shorter than my boob area in a very long time. I had been going to a hairstylist. She's been styling my hair since high school. And she is like a god with hair scissors. Um, she was just so good at blending my hair and layers and everything like that. Um, for private reasons, I won't share why I don't go to her anymore. But um, I found a hairstylist. And I'm going to trust her work. Because from what I've seen, it looks pretty good. I'm very picky with my hair. I'm very picky when it comes to certain things about me. Um, so we'll hope that it goes well, but my hair is very, very long. I don't really know exactly how much I'm cutting. I'm not going to lie. I am cutting a significant amount compared to what I have, like at least five inches or more, which is a lot for me. Um, I have hair down to like my ass crack. So that's what's happening today. I'll give you guys more information in the card just because it's too loud. Like I don't know where construction came out of, but I wanted to say hi because I haven't turned on my camera today and let you guys know what's up. As much as I want this haircut, I am of course nervous. Um, so I am wearing my favorite outfit. One, because I wear a lot of black and you won't be able to see my hair, so I want to be able to wear something light. And I should wear something I like because that way I can get the full effect of it. Um, I don't think I'm going to put earrings in. I am going to put some necklaces on, maybe. Actually, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do one necklace. Um, I'm not going to do earrings because she's obviously, like, brushing my hair. So I don't want to, I don't want anything to get in the way. But <sighs> I'm kind of nervous. I'm leaving, but my brother got... Okay, maybe this isn't a good angle. He got new glasses! They look so good! I'm sorry, am I close? <laughs> sorry about that. I'm wearing these old Adidas shoes that I haven't put on in a while. I'm on my way. I'm kind of nervous. Um, as you guys can see, my hair is very long. Um, I think I'm at least cutting this much. I haven't like properly gone short with my hair in quite some time. For those of you who end up seeing my hair once it's cut, you might not even think it's that short, but for me, my hair symbolizes not just long hair. It's not just because like long hair is pretty and everyone always wants long hair. If you think about it, everyone always goes back to long hair. Why do you think extensions exist, you know? I had to remind myself multiple times when I made this decision um, that my hair grows really fast and I shouldn't be afraid to change my appearance because I've looked technically the same for a while now. The last drastic thing I did was probably back in like, I don't know if it was 2015 or 16, but I had purple hair and then red hair and that time I did have short hair. I'll put it here so you guys can see it if you haven't seen it on my Instagram. But um, I did not voluntarily cut my hair. I had to cut my hair because my hair was bleached and it was really bad. I don't remember hating my hair at the time, but I feel confident in long hair. And so you guys are probably also like, then why are you cutting it off? Um, I've wanted change. I have wanted change. I've thought about change for a very long time. I don't speak about it and I don't know if I'll go into detail. But I low-key battled depression in my own way with a lot of things that I struggled with. And a lot of that had to do with finding self-love, self-worth. Self-worth was a big thing because I am very big on acts of service. And sometimes I forget 
who I am and what I need for myself instead of always giving to others. And so with this new change of like how I feel about myself and like entering like true, I feel like genuinely authentically me and I found that like happiness slash content everyone's gonna have bad days this isn't to say like oh my god I am so happy I'm like not an ounce of my life is like negative like this is my happy ever after no 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 I still have those days even like last week during my period um I felt so lonely you know there's days it's natural but to finally forgive myself and forgive those around me even though they weren't asking for forgiveness to get through that and hold and let go of all the negativity because I am the type of person who holds on to it and then I take years to cope with it and then I let it go but that's hard on myself and I one don't have time for that and two I deserve better and with this change and outlook I have been thinking about cutting my hair and that's why I'm ultimately doing it. I deserve to be happy whether my hair is long and short and for some of you I know it's just hair. It grows back. If it doesn't, if you don't know how I feel, you don't know how I feel. That's just a, simple. It's very simple. If you don't get it, that's fine. You don't have to get it. But my hair is very important to me. My long hair is a source of my confidence. So with that being said, when my hair is not there, you can see where it gets negative. But I'm very happy with my decision. My hair will grow back and it'll be healthier too because my hair isn't as healthy from when I bleached it to go brown. So it's kind of like a refresh, restart, and then not only for my hair, but like for me, you know? I haven't seen my hair short as an adult and I know how to style my hair more these days than I have when I was younger. So I'm I'm very excited, you know? I'm very excited for this new phase. I'm also turning 28 in October. I feel like it's all good timing. I'm very excited. I'm in Covina right now, and this is a new Seven Leaves. Had no idea it was a drive through Completely missed that sign. But it's new, and it's huge. It's this whole freaking building. The guy was saying that it was supposed to be a Mexican restaurant before. There's so much room. There's so many tables. If you're from this area, come here to study because there's like a lot of room. I'm not even kidding. And a drive through So this is the Enspo pig. Yes, I love it. Is this what you're imagining? It. Not that short. Not that short? Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm maybe just a tad bit longer than this. Okay. Because then when I curl, like when I, you know, like blow dry it and stuff, it'll yes. get a little bit shorter. Yes. So like right above the boot, maybe like, like right where this is. Yeah. Cute. Like, I really like that a lot. Okay, then I'll cut it a little bit lower. I don't want like a blunt, blunt cut mm -hmm. where it's like you literally look like you just went through with a pair of scissors. Yeah. I still want it to like have like texture in it okay. because I do wear my hair straight okay. and natural a lot. Mm -hmm. I feel like right here is cute. Yeah. Yeah, and then it'll look cute when I like blow dry it and stuff. Yes. Alright, ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh! That's the most I've cut off in the last like It's so little. Oh my god, it's so little, but I love it. It's like I'm happy your baby. Like, here you go. Oh. <laughs> down below we're making fun of her hair I mean my hair it stands up it stands up like I don't know if that means <laughs> it's good or bad I don't know if it's good or bad really but that was all dead and yes. we have concluded that it's like that itself is seven seven inches then we did two more and I feel like two more yeah we'll just say ten inches yeah I cut off about ten inches You're a new one. I am thank you <laughs>